Once upon a time, there was a man up in Finnmark who had caught a great white beer, which he was going to take to the king of Denmark. Now it so fell out that he came to the Dovrefjell just about Christmas Eve, and there he turned into a cottage where a man lived, whose name was Halvor, and asked the man if he could get house room there for his beer and himself. Heaven never help me, if what I say isn't true, said the man. But we can't give anyone house room for just now, for every Christmas Eve such a pack of trolls come down upon us that we are forced to flit and haven't so much as a house over our heads to say nothing of lending one to anyone else. Oh, said the man. If that's all you can very well lend me your house, my beer can lie under the stove yonder, and I can sleep in the side room. Well, he begged so hard that at last he got leave to stay there. So the people of the house flitted out, and before they went, everything was got, everything was gotten ready for the trolls. The tables were laid, and there were rice porridge and fish boiled in lee, and sausages and all else that was good just as for any other grand feast. So, when everything was ready, down came the trolls. Some were great, some were small. Some had long tails and some had no tails at all. Some, too, had long noses, and they ate and drank and tasted everything. Just then, one of the little trolls caught sight of the white bear who lay under the stove. So he took a piece of sausage and stuck it in a fork and went and poked it up against the bear's nose, screaming out, Pussy, will you have some sausage? Then the white bear rose up and growled and hunted the whole pack of them out of doors, both great and small. Next year, Halvor was out in the woods on the afternoon of Christmas Eve, cutting wood before the holidays for he thought the trolls would come again, and just as he was hard at work, he heard a voice in the wood calling out, Halvor! Halvor! Well, said Halvor, here I am. Have you got your big cat with you still? Yes, that I have, said Halvor. She's lying at home under the stove, and what's more, she has now got seven kittens, far bigger and fiercer than she is herself. Oh, then we'll never come to see you again bawled out the troll away in the woods, and he kept his word, for since that time the trolls have never eaten the Christmas bros with Halvor on the Dovrefjell. <laughs> there you go. That was The Cat on the Dovrefjell by Asbjörn Schnimmu. A short, little, cozy Christmas story. There you go. Translation. Meow, 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 meow. Meow? 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 Yes. <laughs> Amazing.